my friends often ask me, Hey Sagar, you have been playing chess since the past 12 years. Haven't you already solved the game? And then I have to reply to them saying, Do you know that the number of possibilities in a game of chess are more than the number of atoms in the universe? And that just completely surprises everyone. And that is true, that the game of chess is an extremely complicated game. And today, I would like to start a series on trying to teach you the game of chess in my own little way. So, let me just start off by introducing you to the battlefield of chess. It is known as the chess board and it has got 64 squares. There are 32 white squares and 32 dark squares. Okay. And the first important thing that you must know while starting a game of chess is that when you place your chess board, the bottom most right corner should be a white square. If it is a dark square, you have placed the board in a wrong way. It should be a light square. Okay, so now let us, now that you know a little bit about the battlefield, let us bring the soldiers. Okay, so first of all, we find that usually there are numbers over here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and letters here A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. They are used for the chess notation which we will learn in the subsequent lectures but it's usual that white starts, white is placed on the first and second ranks, white pieces over here and black pieces are placed on seventh and eighth ranks. So how are the pieces to be placed? So first of all, we have got the rooks. Okay. They are known as the elephants or the towers. They come to the farmost corners of the chessboard. They are known as the rooks. Okay. They are those heavy pieces. R-O-O-K-S. Rooks. Okay. Alright. Next to the rooks are the very easily identifiable pieces. They are known as the knights or in the layman's terms horses but we call them the knights so they come next to the rooks and then we have the camels uh, in chess terms they are known as the bishops which are placed over here and there are two spots here left now uh, one is for the king one is for the queen and People are often confused as to which piece comes where. But the easiest way to remember is that the white queen comes on the white square and the black queen will come on the black square. So the white queen comes over here and the king comes next to it. And you can usually identify a chess king because it has got a cross on the top of its head. Okay, and now in front of each and every piece come the pawns. These are the soldiers. Okay, there are eight of these, and they are usually the most. Uh, they are the weakest pieces, but you have eight of these soldiers. Okay, so this is how the white army stands: the rooks, the knights, the bishops white queen on white square, king and the pawns, p-a-w-n-s. Okay, uh, your task is now to pause the video and try to place the black pieces in a similar way, okay? All right, I hope you have been successful to place the black pieces. Uh, I will just try to show you how to place them, okay? First of all, we have the roots that come in the corners just like the white we have got the knights over here 
we have the bishops that will be placed over here and we have the king and the black queen on the black square so over here and as is usual the pawns cover up the army okay so what are the uh, origin what is the origin of this game is usually what people ask me well there have been a lot of different theories based on this but the one that I like the most is that uh, there was a king who loved war okay uh, who loved the strategy involved in it the decision making the various planning involved in it but he hated that people had to die and the bloodshed that was involved in it so he told his minister that I want a war but I don't want the bloodshed and the minister came up with the game of chess which involves war, planning, strategy, tactics, everything but yet there is no bloodshed so you are a general of your army and you have got 16 pieces with you if you are white or you are black and you have to lead your team to victory so as the great chess player Bobby Fischer had once said, chess is life, but unlike life, we have some rules in chess and we will learn how each of these pieces move in our next lecture, but till then you have learned how to place the pieces and the very important thing that the bottom most corner should be a light square or a white square when you are placing the board. Alright, until then, see you.